Good evening, and welcome to the Halloween episode. I'm sure you'll enjoy stopping by and seeing what we have tonight. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Oh, pop, oh, that's so hard to breathe in. Oh, all right, it's booze reviews time. Welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. Yes, it's Halloween. Yes, it's time to party. Yes, it is one of my favorite times of the year. And what do I have tonight? Well, I have nothing other than from Russell Brewing. It is the Happy Jack Pumpkin Ale. I figured, why not, eh? It's Halloween. So this comes in with 25 IBU at 650 milliliter. Uh, it's a 5.5% alcohol by volume, and yeah, Happy Halloween from Russell Brewing Company. Ask for Russell. Let's see, a wonderfully balanced pumpkin ale with a bit of oak and spices. Make this refreshing beer ideal to share with friends. Single batch brewed with real pumpkin, whole spices and aged with oak. Russell Brewing Company has been brewing premium craft beer since 1995. And yeah, it goes on about their beer and everything. So, what do you think? I think we should get it cracked into it and see how it is, don't you? <laughs> Most definitely. So yes, if you haven't uh, been able to tell, I love Halloween. Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. It's uh, great to hang out with people, to have fun with them, to scare the crap out of little kids, and to put ornaments that you don't normally be able to put onto your uh, doorstep that are pretty much honoring the dead. So folks, let's find out what we got here. As we see here, it is a dark ale. Part, uh, pretty much a dark amber, almost brown ale. Hardly any head on it, but it's sting. Ooh, you do get a pumpkin smell. And you get spices with it. But there's a sweetness, almost like a, uh, um, a cinnamon sugar, brown sugar sweetness. Oh, this smells divine. I really gotta try this. Cheers, folks. Let's give Halloween a run for its money. Hmm. It's light bodied, but it actually has a lot of flavor behind it. Yeah, that's actually quite good. I actually enjoy that a lot. Um, you can taste the spices in there. The pumpkin's in there too. It's a little subtle, but it's not as subtle as I've had with some of the other ones. Uh, you do have the taste of nutmeg, cinnamon, Sort of like a pumpkin pie. It actually does have that, but it's not its not thick. It's not thick like I've had with other ones like Flying Monkeys, for example. Mmm. That's actually quite delicious. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's a nice, refreshing beer, easy to drink, and something you would actually be able to just sit down and drink a lot of, or enough of, I guess you should say, and just enjoy it. Um, yeah, the spices are beautiful in there. The taste of the pumpkin's in there. You don't really get a, much of an ale taste in there because everything else is there. So that's, that's actually quite a bonus right there. Nope, this is really quite good. I'm glad I chose this one for our Halloween episode. Honestly, I would probably give that, well, I wouldn't probably, I am going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. It's quite delightful, easy to drink, 
and it tastes fresh and refreshing. I really do like that. All right, folks. Well, that's a quick Halloween episode. I like to say that it's going to be longer, but unfortunately it is a weekday and, well, I can't get absolutely shmam, shmammered, hammered, shmammered, shit-faced, you know, what you call really drunk on Halloween because I still have to work tomorrow. However, next time, if you want to come join me for any episodes, by all means, I do have a lovely seat here. And if you do sit here, you may get a little shock. <laughs> And remember, play safe out there. Cheers. Stay frosty. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>